Jason, how do you see this industry changing over the next few years uh, as one question? And, and then how do you think that affects your ability to attract and retain the right talent for you? So banking and payments are going through huge disruption. Mm -hmm. It is we is going to look completely different to what we have now in, in about five or six years' time, and we're going to need totally different types of people in the business. I mean, already you know our, the makeup of our company is very different, I think, from a traditional bank. So you've got to look at what kind of people do you need in the business going forward, mm -hmm. and how are you going to attract them. And and I don't have all the answers for that. You know, we're working on it. We've got a great talent team. Um, I think about transparency and openness is really important and being really clear about the mission and vision for the business. Fantastic. And look, as a final question, Jason, if you had your time again mm -hmm. and you were giving your 20-year-old self advice, what would you say to yourself? So given the time machine, go back and say something, try and change who I am. I well, not change who you are, but if, just looking back on it now and thinking if you get, if you, if, from all your wisdom and knowledge mm -hmm. and life right. experience... What, what, what may you, may you tell yourself if you were, if you were giving some advice? Well, I, I, I do struggle with this question because I think if I did give myself some advice and more importantly, I listened to that advice because <laughs> certainly my older children do not listen to anything I say, um, I think it would change me. You know, I, for instance, one of the things I've said to people is, uh, to myself, is I wonder what would have happened if I'd gone and worked for somebody else when I was younger. I mean, from the, leaving university, I've never worked for anybody else before, ever before. And one of the challenges around that is that I've always had to learn from my own mistakes. And I sometimes wonder if I'd gone to work for somebody else, would I have seen the processes already set up and just gone and made a few shortcuts? I mean, that's one thing I, I think maybe I might have said, and I do say that to my older kids, you know, so you should go and work for somebody, you know, but they've got this entrepreneurial bug in their, in their blood. But, um, but then that would have changed me. And I think my character and where I've got to has come through a lot of the, the troubles and the challenges I've had through my life. And I'm not sure that being able to shortcut those through good advice would have led to a better Jason. Totally understand. Jason, thanks so much for joining me. Really appreciate your time. I know you're extremely busy, but it's an exciting time for the business and I wish you the best. Thank you very much.